Hey, first, okay, I, I think you're awful. Let's put that fact on the table where we can both see it. Now you've been primed for the digestive ruination that's about to take place in the comprehensive soiling uh, of the laundry en enveloping your person. Oh my god, you type like a tool. Yeah, now you're getting it. Uh, what you're in for? Are you ready to be trolled within an inch of your miserable human cortex? This is so weak. I, I'm almost getting tired of wasting good material on you guys. It's like, you've got nothing. It's always one of you sprouting up and ranting about how hard I'm about to get trolled. With no ensuing substance. You don't even know anything about us. One of you fuckers thought I was a girl. Uh, okay, yeah, but the thing is that I don't care about your anatomical details and things like that. I know what you've done, or will do, actually. It's the most awful thing. The worst you can ever do. Sorry I wouldn't cyber with you, dude. In the future, or whatever. What? Wait, oh. Okay, you're the one who, who likes to s submit innuendo. Human innuendo. Yes, human innuendo. Sorry for the lack of clarity. So, at one point in the future, am I supposed to look forward to you whipping up this titanic hankering for my knob? Uh, be honest with me, because I'm busy, and I want to know when exactly... I got to clear some space, in my calendar, for when some fuckwit blunders out of a magical phone booth and makes a ballad inspiring play for my throbbing beef truncheon. Should I be perturbed by these illusions? No man, look, I just need to know when to be there, when the stars come into alignment and your flux capacitor lets you finally say your meteoric greed for crotch dachshund. I wouldn't want to miss it and cause a paradox or something. It'd suck if the universe blew up on account of you missing your window of opportunity to help yourself to a pubescent boy's naked spam porpoise. Uh. Okay, this is sort of starting to upset me. Jesus, you're such a shitty troll. I guess I'll leave you alone and find another point in time to bother you, when I guess you are more emotionally susceptible and don't have all these bees in your bonnet about your human sexuality. Oh no, no dude, you sassed me up. We're in the shit now, together, for the long haul. I- what? We're motherfucking entrenched in this bitch, you and me, welcome to Nam. Now grab my hand and shimmy your soggy ass off that muddy bank before Charlie gets the fucking drop. Uh, who- who's Charlie? He's the guy who's gonna read our vows. I'm feeling pretty friggin' matrimonial all of a sudden. Take a look down by your foot and see that little bottle? Stomp on that shit like it's on fire. Noisy dudes are flipping the fuck out and waving us around on chairs till someone gets hurt. I'm your 300 pound matronly freight train, and my gaping furnace is hungry for coal, sick of goddamn shoveling. Oh my god. Bro, look at my eyes. That twinkle, that beat devotion, you herniated pro wrestler sweaty purple taint, sparkling like a visit from your very fucking godmother. Shippy pure and true, that's what you see, kaleidoscopic supernova of all your hopes and dreams all swishing together, radially effervescing arms of more little boy peckers than you can imagine, turning out insane corkscrew haymakers of a billion dancing Vienna sausages strong. This is how we do this, this shit's more real than graft mayo. Oh.